this hardware. Hey, today I'm going to be showing you uh, what I think is the best way to kill webworms. We've got an infestation of them here in Houston. Uh, so I'm using this Summit caterpillar, caterpillar and webworm control. Um, you got to apply it twice. So the first time you apply it, you see these little moths flying around on uh, your grass. Those are adult webworms. Um, their larvae are what are actually eating your grass. So if you see um, adult webworms, what you, what you got to remember is that you have larva as well. I'm going to try to get this water in here. Um, so when you spray this, I'm going to start spraying it. You'll see, you can see we have some couple moths there flying up. Those are webworms. Those are the adults. Um, so what you want to do is try to get this when it's nice and dry. The grass isn't wet. And you'll know it's working because you'll see the webworms flying off your grass. And then, so in about a week or 10 days, the larva will hatch. And that's why you need to do it a second time is to get those larva, make sure they don't start eating your, or laying more eggs and giving more larva. So again, it's real simple. This is Summit Caterpillar and Webworm Control. You can buy it on Amazon. It's about $30 for the bottle. It'll last for your two treatments for an average size lawn. Um, if you're local here in Houston near the Heights, um, you can go to Buchanan's uh, Native Plants on 11th. They have it. Um, this is where I bought my original. This was the, the ones that recommended it to me. So again, webworms, you want to kill the larva. I'm using Summit webworm, caterpillar and webworm control. Uh, spray it once when it's dry, wait about seven to 10 days and spray it again. Uh, and if you see webworms after that, I would just uh, wait a, wait another week and, and complete that, repeat that cycle. Thanks, hope that helps.